somebody say two new signings yep i think they, i think it was me actually who just said that about six seconds ago two new signings and um one of them let's just say maybe exciting people a lot more um and the other one maybe less so um if we're talking jackson and Konku, um there's one a lot more people are excited for i think if you look at it i'm not sure whether they're planning on playing on Konku. i would assume just down the middle i'm assuming we didn't bring him in to be another wide player and he plays down the middle most of the time for leipzig i'm pretty sure whether that's as like an out and out number nine striker if we're going to have him as like a center forward if you want to because I, I don't think we should do the whole play him in behind someone else type thing. But we brought in this striker for a reason. So maybe they are looking to play him in behind. Um, which I don't mind. But I think a lot of people are looking at is if, if we get rid of... Well, if we keep Broja and we get rid of um, Fafana. Not that he was playing anyway, but he goes out on loan. We've got an uh, injured Broja who's coming back. And then you would have Jackson, this Donny, coming in. Um, it does kind of feel like, okay bit risky to go into a new season like that but if you're also planning on Unkanku being enough option through the middle and he actually gets goals which I'm do, I am hoping he does hit the ground running I know it's unfair to expect him to do that when you don't expect most players from foreign leagues to do that but just by the fact that most players who have came in haven't hit the ground running but not just haven't hit the ground running never hit the ground at all it's kind of like there's even more pressure for you to get it as quick as possible like it's kind of sped up the process and the leniency we would have given you prior to that if the, we didn't have this prior bad experience but I, I, I mean I I want to say I've seen no reason why he won't but I did say the same thing for Werner and Lukaku and the rest of them so that's that Lukaku is also a player we're harboring at the moment which to be honest I'm just loving that like I, I don't want to keep Lukaku I don't really want everyone to play again but I like that we're just not just handing him back over in, in, to Inter Milan as it seems right now because ultimately you did choose to come here and we did sign you for like a lot of money and then you immediately fucked us over wanted to go back to Inter Milan we then you know basically gave you your wishes we put you on loan there right and now you're, you're just back from loan expecting us to just immediately like give you to, like you fucked us over man like we have the power here we don't have to like ultimately you're our player you're under a contract and we don't have to sell you till we get a good offer and ultimately I'd be more than happy to be petty as shit and just let him train like I don't agree with Rory Jennings a lot but I would be more than happy to let the guy train for the youth team, see if Meg the Stallion is still showing up for those games. Um, because it weren't cool, man. And in terms of like the Jackson deal, it's like 35 million. Some people were clowning on it because it's like, who the fuck are you? Why are they, why are they not si trying to sign like Vahalovic? Is that what you say? Or like this big strike or that big strike or Oshiman's another one. Is that what you say? Um, don't watch enough international i don't watch enough italian ball i'll be honest but both those players reside um but you know we've, we have done that we have tried that and we have failed at that and it's very easy to go okay you know expensive player top scorer in that league top scorer in that league bring them in they'll do the business but there is something about buying a player who you've not really heard of that makes you think okay some kind of scouting must have happened here and I think we took like some kind of scouting network or some kind of coaches or some kind of people from Brighton and they've been doing a pretty good job at it. So I can only hope that they've seen something that I don't know and they're the professionals, they get paid that money for a reason, they found something there and that'll work out. Um, and you better hope so. And it's very easy to look at a striker go, oh, striker, black, the Drogba region. You know, it's very easy to go ahead and say that. I mean, we was doing it with Fafana because he's from the Ivory Coast. Um, and to be honest, like I want, I want to preface this again. I've been happy with Fafana. I actually liked his performances from the very little bit we saw from him. He'll probably go on loan, but um, I'm excited to see both play. I'm just excited for preseason. I don't even know who we're playing in preseason. I, I don't know how that's looking, but I'm just looking forward to it in general. I mean, the Konku ball is going to be great. Uh, I mean, I, I, that that first time he blows a balloon, which the Premier the Premier League is definitely going to ban at some point. Um, at Stamford Bridge is going to hit like crack. Um, and I look forward to it massively. I was looking at our fixtures for the upcoming season as well. And it's kind of how I like it to be. Easy start and an easy end, rough in the middle. That's not any, I don't know how that would be in any window, but it sounds like it could be. It's not. I like that. It's in a nice, easy fixtures for the most part leading into the season, get you warmed up into it. I like that. And then ultimately, nice, easy fixtures towards the end. Because ultimately, when you get towards the end of the season, it's always, are we going to get top four? Are we going to get top this? Are we going to make it here? And you look at your final six games, you compare them to the teams around you, and you want to have easy games. When I look at our like, last six, seven games, they're all like, relatively easy. I don't know where those teams are going to be in the league at that time, at the end of the season later on. But right now, I'd consider them easier games. When you look at Spurs's, for example, Tottenham's final like six games, a lot harder. So say we're battling out for a similar position with Tottenham, 
we got the games on our side. So I do like actually how our fixtures have lined up this season. I think they're looking pretty good. We've got Poch on side. We've got some good players coming through. Um, I don't know if these are Poch's play. Like I don't know if these like players Poch said go out and get me these. I don't know if it's just like a scouting thing if he's involved in that at all. I know on Conquest said he hasn't spoken to Poch yet since he's um, joined and he's joined now and he's got the shirt on. So. I would imagine if it was Poch's... I oh, actually know we signed on Kanku long before Poch. I'm, I'm being stupid. That was like eight months ago. But I'm not sure on the Jackson thing either. It would be interesting if that is a Poch signing or, or what. Um, I'm not sure if Poch is known for his amazing signings. I have to go look through and do some fucking research. Um, but I think he is known for like decent signings, younger players, I think. I'm not sure. I mean, was he a Deli Ali a signing of his maybe? I don't know. Because um, he is quite young as well, the strike we're bringing in. But um, that's just that on that. Um, looking forward to the new season hopefully it goes at least better than the last one went 